Hi there, Mr Moffitt here. I'd like to speak to you about this fantastic instrument, the classical or Spanish guitar. And it's different to other guitars because instead of having steel strings, it has nylon strings, which gives it this really rich, warm, beautiful sound. And I love it because you can play so many different styles of music on it, from classical music to um, Spanish flamenco style music to folk music, to film theme music, and all sorts of things. I also love it because it has such a rich range of sounds, from the deep bass strings, to the kind of piercing high strings up here. And you can make all sorts of cool effects on it, from things like harmonics, You can play chords, you can play um, arpeggios and accompaniments, or you can play just a simple main tune. And you can play such a range of pieces of music on it, it's fantastic. Um, a few little facts for you then. Um, so the Spanish guitar obviously has six nylon strings. You have three bass strings which are coated with a steel coating to give it that um, thick um, richness of sound. And then the other three treble strings we call them are just pure nylon. Um, the strings are named from thickest to thinnest like this, E, A, D, G, B, and E. And so you can see, and you'll hear in a sec, that there are two E strings, a low E and a high E. And then in between we have the A, D, G, B, and E again. Right? So that's how they're tuned. Now the strings are attached into the guitar by means of knotting the string through a little hole notched into the bridge here. So you thread the string through, you bring it back around and you tie what's called a slip knot to um, attach the string on. Once you've done that, then you thread your string through the um, machine head here, so through the hole here, uh, and then you tighten with the machine head with the tuning peg until you get it to the correct tightness. Um, on the guitar we also have a sound hole and that's very important because if you didn't have that you wouldn't have any sound um, and this sound bounces around the, uh, the, the cave the um, concave body of the guitar and then travels out and gets amplified doesn't it we have the body we have the neck and we have the head um, the guitars have a cut um, shape here so that they can sit nicely into your leg and if I show you, I'm using a thing called a footstool. This little gadget here, which allows us to raise our leg and then we can get a good position and a good straight posture. And then we can get access to all of these high frets up here if we want to play something high. All right, cool, there's a few facts for you. I'm gonna play you a little bit of music now. It's called Tico Tico No Fuba. It's a Brazilian piece of music um, written by Zequina de Abreu in 1917. Um, it means uh, sparrow in the cornmeal and it's a fun and happy piece of music. You might recognise it. Mm -hmm. 